All right, good morning everyone. If anyone else is on the East Coast, specifically the Northeast, you probably got a pretty big snowstorm pretty recently. I gotta clean up the yard a little bit because I actually have another bus friend gonna be pulling in the driveway pretty soon, so I wanna make sure we take care of all of the snow, but today is actually a very special day because uh, I'm gonna start working on the upper cabinets on the school bus, but it's also the shortest day of the year. Which if, uh, if you know anything about the shortest day of the year, it doesn't necessarily mean we don't have 24 hours to do things, it just means we only have so much sunlight and uh, it's pretty early in the morning right now, but I think I only have like six and a half hours of sunlight or like dusk or dawn. It's just pretty much always dusk or dawn. So I gotta get to this snow blowing, get this bus all turned on, turned around, and get these cabinets started going and see what we get done on the shortest day of the year. If any of you watched my last video, this is why you plug in your engine uh, block heater every night. Don't do what I did in the last video. It starts way easier. As I'm snow blowing, look who showed up. Hey. If you guys don't know, this is Rachel, my sister. Um, she's actually gonna be coming over because you have to fix the headlights. Yep, yeah, I gotta go to the store, get some bolts. She's not gonna help me with snow though, I bet. No. <laughs> this is Rachel's car. She loves beetles. Yes. She loves convertibles. Yes. She is her happiest person when she's in a convertible. Unfortunately though, uh, this thing's not great for winter. Also, her headlights don't work, so I pulled them out last night and uh, she's gonna run to the store for me and go get new headlights so that she can help me put them back in. And then we get this thing out of the garage, which means we can get plywood in the garage and start cutting those cabinets. So, uh, Rach, you wanna take the bus since your car is kind of... Yeah, I don't think I'm getting this car out right, All right. now, so... You can just take the bus to the store. Let me hit my headlights. There you go. Also, since I'm just snow blowing, uh, I'll throw some drone shots up. I'm gonna give Rachel the camera. She's gonna have a lot more fun than I am. Adventure time! Here we go. So, I got my bulbs, I got my bus. Here he is, look at him go. So after my short drive, I have made it successfully to O'Connor's and Ivan, what a guy. Let's head in, see what I can do about these bulbs. Oh, some not so great news. They don't have any. Yeah, they are getting them in though this afternoon, which is great. So I will be coming back at 2.30, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock today when they get their shipment in and hopefully Hopefully I can get them today so that I can get everything sorted. But uh, I guess I'll go tell Michael the news and hopefully it doesn't disturb his plans too much because he is doing me a giant favor. So let's head back to the house. Because of the news of the bulbs and the fact that it's like nine in the morning and I'm tired. Didn't go home. Get my little morning pick me up from my favorite and only grocery store in town. Or not grocery store, gas station. So let's go. Breakfast Sammy's, coffee hot cocoa. We're here for it. We're here for it. It was good. Did you film a lot? I did. I got myself. Did you spill coffee all over my I floor? I did not. That's snow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Right there. <laughs> snow. I, it's coffee hot cocoa. I missed a call. I just saw the You missed an EMT sleep. call? Just saw oh the Oh my gosh, you just missed an EMT just call? Just missed a call. 
It's oh, okay. Okay, just so everyone knows on camera, if Rachel didn't already tell you, she's an EMT in our local town. But she's not EMT yet, she's in the classes. But she's the driver for the ambulance because she's the most qualified because she drives my buses all around. And it's the same chassis as the ambulance. So she pretty much just got the job. Yeah. Central. She's a professional bus ambulance driver, that girl right there. <laughs> it's true. Okay, bad so news. What, what's the bad news? They don't have my bulbs until 3 o'clock this afternoon. Oh. So we'll push your Volkswagen out of the garage. Oh, we have to push the Volkswagen out of the garage because there's no reverse. Yeah, Just... I gotta fix the reverse. We gotta do something to the transmission. Not too sure yet. That's a totally different. That's a different day. That's not this channel. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. All right, well, help me finish doing the snow and then we'll push your Volkswagen out so we can yeah. get the bus ready yeah. and then I'll just do your Volkswagen tonight. Yeah, so I'll have to go back at like 3 o'clock today. Sounds great. Cool, here we go. Shortest day of the year. You know what the shortest day of the year means? It means we don't got a lot of time. <laughs> Alright, well snow blowing is done. Rachel's taking the wall out of the garage. For the winter we insulate the wall. So we have to pull this wall out so we can get the Volkswagen out and then I can start cutting plywood for the cabinets. But bus is in place, the driveway is completely clear, and I cleared the spot in front of Navi right there because there's, uh, like I said before, um, there's going to be a bus actually showing up uh, that I need somewhere to park it. So we cleared a nice 40 foot spot. So, uh oh, oh, whoops. Well, that's one way to get the wall out, Rach. <laughs> My bad, I didn't know it was going to go forward. It's all right. <laughs> oh. Well, at least we know the bus is strong. You should see it when I try to take it out of my driveway, man. Yeah, by yourself. Oh, it's uphill too. All right. It's rough. Last job yes. before we get to the bus. We gotta just put that wall back in. Do we have to put the bus in first? No, the bus doesn't go in. We just oh. need we need to build the cabinets in there. Oh. You ready? All right, one, two. Getting ready to build. Let's, now we're cooking. With now fire. we're cooking. <laughs> now we're cooking with fire. It's cold. It is cold. Okay, snow blowing is officially done, and Rachel's car is out of the garage, so we can actually get started on the bus. But unfortunately, uh, I think I changed my plans a little bit. We're not gonna be doing upper cabinets. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So goal of the day on the bus is we're going to be sheeting our walls for the bathroom. So this is all gonna be plywood. And then I kind of changed my plans. If uh, any of you long-term subscribers uh, watched one of my videos where we were putting in the ceiling, you will know that we made it really seamless. We made it really, uh, really tight. You can tell that the plywood is just, you can't see where they are. I kind of changed my plan like last week. I decided I wanted to match the bus um, to the same thing I did on my last one, Navi, who I can actually just go show you, but I, I want to do a cedar ceiling like that one. It's really cold out here, so we might as well just run for it. Whoosh. All right, so this bus. I want to put this ceiling in Ivan because I just really like it. It smells really good, and I just think it looks awesome. So I changed my plans. All right, Ray. I told them what we're doing. Let's get doing it. Let's go. We got our walls in now, so this will be our front top uh, post to the doorway, our back one, and then we've got this other one back here. So now what we have to do is put these crosses in that we put up here. We gotta put them in here and back here for structural so that it's all strong. And then all we gotta do is just sheet them, plywood done. Rachel, awesome. Hey -o. All 
right, so I cut one, two, and three. So we're gonna test them out, see how they look. Oh, what? It's the brother. Did you get them? I didn't test them yet. We're going. So, Michael just explained something really cool to me. So when you're measuring for like things like this, it's best not to put them in the middle, he said, because then it causes like the wood to bow because it's like, you know, it'll be pushing against so it will look perfect, but it's not. And it will cause your walls not to be square later. So he says, when you test things and like are looking to do measurements and stuff on things like this, you go from the top because they won't bow. I have five good pieces of wood. And again, from now on, I will always remember Michael saying, measure from the top to make sure and prevent bowing in the middle so your walls are always square. Fun facts of the day. We're gonna be doing is taking a bunch of this plywood and ripping it up so that we can actually start sheeting out that bathroom. Uh, the reason why I want to do that first is because once we get that in, then the ceiling will actually butt up into that. The ceiling's about just less than a quarter inch thick, which means it will cover any gap at the top if we don't get a perfect scribe, which is nice because that means we don't have to worry about getting a perfect scribe because it's gonna get covered anyway by the ceiling. So, Rachel, I know you're really cold and you're standing by the fire, but you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this. Census says? Census says that that's our piece right there. So that's our template. So now what we gotta do is we gotta get our full sheet. Yeah. And then we match this template to the top, which gives us our top edge. And then what the only thing that we might have to consider is if this wall is actually like a 90, or is this wall slightly tilted by a certain degree? When I was building out my bus Navi, the, the Thomas buses actually have a curve to the outside. They're about, I think it's like, I don't know, someone could probably tell me. It's like four degrees or five degrees or something on a slight tilt on the windows. So this outside wall is not gonna be square to here, which means your plywood sheet is like horrible to cut. <laughs> does fit, it's really tight, which is kind of a good thing. So it's take a little bit off the top, or the bottom, or the wheel well. I don't know, I think it just needs to, yeah, that looks good, I I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm gonna be happy with that. And even this looks good, because this is flush, and then this is flush. So that means we did all that, like, good. So really, we just gotta take that little bit out of the bottom and this should slide, should slide right in. I know it's only like 3.30, but like, sun's going down. Shortest day of the year. All right, take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. Take two. All right, our top is looking good. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, I think that's it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Now we can set the cabinet! Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, it's like a real wall. All right, one down. Uh, one, two, three more to go. Cool. That took like a minute on film. 
Like an hour and a half in real life. <laughs> but it looks so good! Wow. Again, hour and a half in real life. All right, so this wall is now in. We do have to screw it in and get it all kind of finished up, but it's great that it's finalized. The next one that we're gonna be working on is actually this one, and uh, I'm just gonna get some scribe lines for the top, get that one set. Let's go get scribing and cutting. And Rachel now is like a pro at this. Yes. She knows the process. I do. She knows how to do it, and uh, we're gonna get to it. means we're actually like like we're dead on because we like make it really tight so like let's just take like a blade a blade out of the the bottom because there's gonna be flooring the flooring will make up that gap you know round two oh she beautiful well then I... you know what that means we can stand in the front look back and be like that's what it's gonna look like let's do it <sighs> That's what it's gonna look like. Hey, I'm gonna go walk in my bathroom quick. Also, people, I'd like to mention it is not even five o'clock yet. <sighs> and it is pitch black. Almost. We've done a lot today though. Almost pitch black. She she dark. She dark. All right, so we just got this one cut and it is going to be officially installed. And you can kind of, like we just saw before, see what kind of the bus is gonna look like with the bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen. And you can kind of, you actually can really start seeing the space, which is really cool. Uh, but the sun has gone down. And uh, honestly, it is, I think we said it was almost like 6.30 or so. Um, and Rachel, as she said in the beginning of the video, is an EMT. So I need to get her car back together because she needs it and she has no headlights. Uh, so we're gonna actually kind of call it on the bus. We're not gonna get to the ceiling in this video. Sorry, Rachel helped me out all day. Uh, the least I can do is get her headlights in so that she can go do her, uh, you know, her job and everything. So in the next video, we're gonna be putting up the ceiling. So make sure you subscribe and check the bell if you wanna get notifications when that video goes out next week. It's probably gonna be the last video of the year too. But at this point, we're gonna be heading in the garage. We're gonna push, we're gonna pull, we're gonna drive. We're gonna drive the Volkswagen back into the garage, get those headlights put back in and then, uh, Rachel's gonna go EMT. Ew. <laughs> <laughs>